The next year, Robert Gross in Boston, who's an interesting character I'll come to in a minute, um, decided that uh, it would do the same thing. And Bob Bartlett, who is a surgeon who started a process called ECMO that many of you will have heard of, um, was observing at the time what the patients were like. And these little children, um, with the duct open after birth, too much blood would be going to the lungs, and the lungs would gradually become waterlogged. And then they would start to bleed into the lungs, and finally they would drown in their own blood. And it was a terrible death by the age of six or eight or a little bit older. The oldest people lived to be about 20. Bob Bartlett operated on this lady, Laureen Sweeney, when she was seven. And as you can see, it was a successful operation. And he operated on it and put stitches in it, which was the big difference. When I was a child, they sensed that there was something wrong because they could hear this strong noise coming from my chest. I just was very, very weak. I couldn't do anything like other children, and they used to go out and play hopscotch and jump rope and all that, and I used to watch them from the window. I remember my mother bringing me here in the streetcar, and I remember sitting in the benches, the big long benches, and then they'd call my number, which was number 99, and then I'd go in and they would examine me and listen to my heart, and Dr. Gross was telling her about this operation. He did the operation when Dr. Ladd was out of town. Right because he was certain that Dr. Ladd would have forbidden him to, uh, to do that. There was the risk, of the, the risk of going in and operating near the heart, which was unheard of at that time. And there was also the significant risk of anesthesia. Although it had been discussed and bantered about, no one had the courage to, uh, to move ahead and do it. I remember the day of the operation in the operating room and I looked up and it was all these men looking down, there was students. And I remember the nurses and the anesthesiologists. And then the next thing, you know, uh, when I woke up, I was in a crib. Dr. Gross said to me, Lorraine, you know, if you didn't survive, I'd end up as a chicken farmer in Vermont. And I said, well, doctor, I said, thank God I came from good Irish stock. My family used to say, they must have put a couple more than one hat. And she never stops, she hasn't stopped running since. 